Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of The Daily here with Greg Lawless. I'm Nick Fershaw talking about CONCACAF Champions League action from Tuesday night and a big win for an MLS team, the Seattle Sounders, with a 3-2 aggregate goal win over Tigres, one of the best teams in Mexico. They get a 3-1 win in the second leg up at CenturyLink Tuesday night. Yes, it was a bit of a B team for Tigres, but Sounders will take it. They're moving on to the semifinals. A pretty amazing result ultimately for the Sounders because they went down 1-0 midway through the first half and it looked like everything was going to fall apart. Right after that goal, Tigres controlled the game. They were dominating it for the next 10-15 minutes. And then a red card. Tigres gets a second yellow card for kicking the ball away after a foul. And he gets a second yellow card. He's gone. Now you're up a man for the whole second half. Yeah. They get three goals. An amazing goal from uh, teenager uh, DeAndre Yedlin for Seattle. Out of the air. That was incredible. Jimmy Traore with a volley into the upper 90. And finally, Eddie Johnson, who did yeah. very little for most of the game, shows up late and he scores a goal, he goes around the end and slides it near post against the keeper to win the whole thing. A, an incredible result for the Sounders in the end. A historic win for the Sounders yes. and a big win for MLS in the CONCACAF Champions League quarterfinals. The Seattle Sounders are moving on to the next round. Well, two more MLS teams involved in the CONCACAF Champions League on Wednesday, starting off with the Houston Dynamo. They're on the road at Santos Laguna in Torreon, Mexico, 8 p.m. Eastern on Fox Soccer. They hold a 1-0 aggregate goal lead. The winner of the series goes on to face the Sounders. Will it be the Houston Dynamo? This is a tough task. This is a very tough task. Santos Laguna have shellacked MLS teams before when they've gone down to Torreon. So you know they're going to come out firing on all cylinders. Hercules Gomez will be up there trying to do everything he can do for them, obviously. But I think this is a Houston team that might have what it takes because the, all they need to do is hold on for a draw. If they can get nil-nil, they are through. So they've got really good goalkeeping. Uh, Boswell and, and the other guys in back played very well on the first leg. So if they can keep it tight defensively, and Ricardo Clark might end up being the key yeah. for this, sitting in that holding midfielder position, keeping his shape, keeping in that position, and they can hold on for that nil-nil draw perhaps. Again, that game 8 p.m. Eastern on Fox Soccer, and then the nightcap, the LA Galaxy at home against Club Herediano, the Costa Rican side that's 10 p.m. Eastern on Fox Soccer. Yep. A scoreless draw in the opener. The Galaxy were happy to take that one considering all the uh, shenanigans that were going on in that game. Yeah. So now it's just a one-off. They need to win this game, yeah. and then they could face Monterey, one of the best teams in Mexico. Monterey getting into the semifinals already with a, a victory, an aggregate victory on Tuesday night. Now, the Galaxy, they're in great shape. They're at home. They should be able to get a win, not just 1-0. They should be able to get several yeah. goals. This Herediano team is not a very strong team, and now they have to travel. So the Galaxy are at home. This should be something to get done. Look for Mike McGee again to be very, very yeah. important in this. And Robbie Keane, you know, I don't think he played terrifically well down in Costa Rica. So I think on the way back, maybe he gets a goal in this one. Busy night in the CONCACAF Champions League. It all starts at 8 p.m. Eastern on Fox Soccer with complete coverage at MLSsoccer.com slash CCL. Well, the U.S. national team back in action with their second World Cup qualifier in about a week and a half out in Denver, but there's a report. You're going to that one. I am going to that one. That'd there's a fun. report out of uh, Salt Lake City, though, that that June 18th game against Honduras, which is a very big game, could be held at Rio Tinto Stadium, and this is what we expected to see. We expected to see Denver get one, Rio Tinto Stadium, and then we've heard about Kansas City and Seattle. June 18th at Rio Tinto Stadium. It's a good stadium for the U.S. national team. Well, that report's coming from Bill Riley out at ESPN 700 in Salt Lake City. No word yet from either Real Salt Lake or U.S. Soccer Federation about it, but this would be a great choice, I think. First of all, you get the altitude. That's important from the U.S. standpoint, I think, in this one. And secondly, you get a great crowd. Rio Tinto has proven to be a terrific venue from the crowd standpoint. It's going to be loud. It's going to be raucous. And, you know, maybe Kyle Beckerman ends up being in the starting lineup yeah. as well. they got their hometown hero that they can cheer on in this one. Well, uh, some other news about Rio Tinto Stadium. The Gold Cup schedule comes out later today. Will Rio Tinto figure into that and which other MLS stadiums? You can find that on the site. As well as the fantasy starting lineup. That comes out on Thursday, so get your questions in right now. You can tweet them to the guys, Jason Skinny and Andrew Reby, at MLS Fantasy, and then they'll answer your questions on Thursday. Also on the site today, March to the Match and Anatomy of a Goal. For all you New England Revolution fans, it's time to take a look back at Jerry Benson's goal mm -hmm. against the Chicago Fire. You can find that on MLSsoccer.com.